know, she's working hard, and um, yeah, I'm just you know, like my proud dad, really. <laughs> Um, my earliest probably playing in the back garden with my brother, um, older brother, and I used to go and watch him and my dad play on a Saturday, and it was sort of join in and enjoy it or get bored on the sideline. So I'd join in and then go back back home and play in the alleyway or in the garden. As as her brother, I remember her being uh, her always coming to my sort of boys' cricket games from under 11 or even under 9 age sort of being there on the side, hitting the ball around. Um, when it sort of got to under 12, under 13, she was having to, to play for us because there were a few, a few short each week. And um, she sort of became a regular part of our team and um, sort of smashed the ball around. We were still playing quick cricket at that point. And uh, yeah, so she just got involved. She would have been about seven then. I was the only girl in the whole club, in the whole league. So I played all through the Colts, um, the captain the boys teams. Um, so, as I said, the only girl in the league, so I turn up and get a bit of... The parents were worse than the boys, but um, you know, when I got their boy out, it didn't go down well, hit for six, but um, no, still, um, I played men's cricket for them as well, with my dad and brother, so I've been there for a while. I used to run the, the boys' teams, used to manage them, and uh, Brian used to come in and play with David. And, uh, yeah, I remember some stories where she used to hit some, some of the boys over the head for six, and, yeah, it was a shock to the system, I think, early on. Uh, coming through boys, I didn't play any girls club cricket, so straight into county um, girls cricket. It was a bit, I was a very shy nine year old, I didn't want to speak to anyone. So the coaches, uh, Catherine Robson was the main coach who I still see today, so she helped me through it and sort of playing from that age has helped me to get to where I am now. So she was in the top set, and she'd been in the top set the whole way through. So um, there was uh, three of them that you couldn't really separate in regards to ability. So they were called the three musketeers. First met her probably. She probably first came into the team about six years ago. Um, uh, but I was uh, at club level. I played with her uh, from an early age, so I remember her coming in as an under eleven. Uh, uh, so. Plus being really good at sport, she was academically able as well. So. She was one of our more able, she was a school prefect, she was a sports captain, she helped organise events and things like that. So, um, yeah, she was one of those that was easy to help. Um, Bryony uh, came down to our EPP sessions. Um, she would have been, and you worked back through the years, but I was about 16. And uh, yeah, something that she was uh, very well known for was like, ball striking ability. She was uh, someone who, who coaches would, would certainly say she could. She can come in and give it, give it, a, give it a whack, give it a hit, and um, she was um, certainly someone who could do that when we first saw her. So. But I've supported Bridie as much as I can, and um, it's been an interesting development. Very, very well done by Sari, I think. They take things very seriously and put an emphasis on the weaknesses that uh, they show these young players. Someone who who had stood out as well from her peer group. She, yeah, obviously, if, um, obviously would have would have been one of the high potential players and, and certainly seen as that from an earlier age. Um, so yeah, when she, when she came along and, and joined in with the boys' program um, at that point, which um, was the first time I saw her, that, uh, you, you could see those sort of high qualities. Um, she's uh, developed a lot over the last couple of years. Um, she came into the side and probably came in as a middle order batter um, with a, an aggressive style, very uh, natural, um, with a natural flair really. Um, and uh, since then has kind of developed um, more of an understanding of her game again and just um, knows uh, the shots eventually start to be, we should be working on that a lot more. I think, especially with such a young side, to have someone um, like me, myself and Hannah, who are still 21 and 20, to have played for six, seven years is something you probably won't get with sort of Lancashire and Yorkshire and that sort of type of team. So although we're a young squad, we've got a lot of experience in us, which is definitely helpful on days like today. With her recent rise and the, the rookie contract she's got with England, we haven't actually seen as much of, a, uh, of her. So 
Um, it's been it's been in glimpses really this winter especially, but that's obviously fantastic because she's been at Loughborough so much and working with the England Women's Group. My dad said Sally had been a great supporter to Brian over the years. I always supported her in lots of different ways. To get where she is now is a big thing for her and we thank Sarah for that for their support. I've seen more of her stuff via TV or video recordings and things like that, but we've kept in touch um, because you know there's always that student that you remember um, and she's one of them. So she's someone obviously through the last three years of the Surrey Stars, that's certainly been the sort of precursor you'd say to to, to a, a bit more of a coach player relationship and getting to understand her game, having seen her a bit more regularly now for a few years and, and therefore this winter was um, we were able to do some stuff before Christmas and then what's England kind of taken that on and, and furthered that within the environment they've got there. Yeah. It's good to see, it's, it makes you really proud that you can just help a little bit and someone's just gone on and done really well. Because so, yeah. I've played a lot with these girls from such a young age, like coming through the system with them and representing the first team and some of the Surrey Stars as well. So coming through and not giving up when I could have easily just said that'll do, I don't want to play cricket anymore and coming through and playing these games is amazing. Uh, you know, to get a first team in Pat was, Pat was a real big thing for us and for her. Uh, you know, she's working hard and um, you know, just you know, like my proud dad really. <laughs> uh, enjoy it. You're not going to get anywhere if you don't enjoy it. Um, in it as far as you can. <laughs> <laughs>